My name is Dr. Eugene May. I'm a neuro-ophthalmologist at Swedish, and that means I'm a neurologist who sees people who have neurologic problems that affect their vision. IIH is idiopathic intracranial hypertension. Another name for that condition is pseudotumor cerebri syndrome. Idiopathic intracranial hypertension, or IIH, is a condition in which people have increased pressure of their spinal fluid inside their heads, which causes headaches and puts pressure on the optic nerves that causes visual symptoms and sometimes vision loss. When patients first come to see a neuro-ophthalmologist for IIH, they can expect to get their vision checked in a number of different ways. We have ophthalmic technicians check patients' visual acuity, do peripheral vision tests, and take pictures of the back of the eye to confirm whether or not the optic nerves are swollen. After the technician has checked a person's vision and run those tests, patient can expect to see the neuro-ophthalmologist who will go over all of the symptoms that the patient has, review the visual status of the patient, and do a complete eye exam to confirm whether or not the optic nerves are swollen. When a person comes to Swedish and sees a neuro-ophthalmologist for IIH and the diagnosis is confirmed, then how aggressively the patient is treated is determined by how bad their symptoms are. In some patients who just have headaches and minor or no visual symptoms, we can generally manage those symptoms just by using prescription medication. And that can be handled either by one of the neuro-ophthalmologists, a general neurologist, or a headache neurologist. If a patient with IIH starts developing visual symptoms that persist or get worse, then we need to treat the patient more aggressively to prevent them from having vision loss. And that would require either a visit with a neurosurgeon to consider putting in a shunt to get the pressure down, or seeing an orbital surgeon who can do a procedure called an optic nerve sheath fenestration to relieve the pressure off the optic nerves and keep the vision from worsening. A lot of IIH patients have IIH because they're overweight. We also have comprehensive weight loss services at Swedish to help people lose weight to cure their IIH. We know that IIH patients often need to see more than one doctor in a day. Because our care here at Swedish is coordinated, we strive and are almost always successful at getting people their appointments on the same day to see all the providers that they need to see. So for example, if a patient comes in needing to see the neuro-ophthalmologist and the neurosurgeon, we can coordinate those appointments ahead of time so that the patient can be seen by both of those providers in a convenient manner. There's been a lot of really good research over the past several years guiding us regarding treatment of IIH. The recent big trial was called the IIHTT, and that's the Idiopathic Intracranial Hypertension Treatment Trial. That was a large multicenter study that was coordinated by the National Institutes of Health. Our group here at Swedish was a part of the IIHTT. The importance of the IIHTT is that it proved that treatment of IIH with a medicine called acetazolamide and with weight loss was highly effective at controlling the symptoms of IIH and helped prevent people from losing vision. We're excited to say that the Swedish group is also going to be a part of the follow-up study of the IIHTT. That study is called the IIHTT2, which is the study looking at the surgical treatments of IIH, specifically whether optic nerve sheath fenestration is any better than putting a shunt in to treat people with IIH who are losing vision. If you've been diagnosed with IIH, or if one of your doctors thinks that you may have IIH, we welcome you to come to Swedish and get evaluated and treated. If you're interested in getting care at Swedish for your IIH, please go online to swedish.org slash IIH, and there will be all the information on there that you need to contact the Neuro-Ophthalmology Clinic and arrange a consultation.